probably don't even know all the good that the Saudi government do for the Muslims and do for around the world, but the people in this country love their government, and they've been trying to separate and divide the Saudi citizens and try to make them go against their government for years, and they never worked. The people here, you know, they pledge allegiance to their government. They love their government. The government help them. They take care of their people, mashallah. So it's a blessed situation. A lot of people envy them. You know what I mean? A lot of people envy the collegiate countries like Saudi, Kuwait, and the UAE because of, because of how they take care of their country, how they take care of their citizens. They do a lot for them. You know what I mean? It's a blessed situation, mashallah. I never really seen people in my life get treated the way, get treated in a good situation the way the collegiate people get treated. You know what I mean? You know, coming from America, we, we usually have this arrogance where we think our country is the best. You know what I mean? So when you come here, you see, for example, a Saudi or Emirati or Kuwaiti, but you see they get free, um, they go to schooling for free. They get free, um, free medical, free schooling, um, housing. You, you would never see a Saudi homeless. You know what I mean? The government won't let no Saudi be on the street. You know what I mean? Um, free housing, free medical, and it's a safe country. They support the people here, so it's a blessed environment, alhamdulillah. So a lot of people envy the Saudis and envy Kuwaitis or Emiratis because they really take care of them, you know what I mean? Yeah, free medical. Yeah, Ahmed, they get free medical, everything. One second. Free, free schooling and everything, mashallah. Bismillah. Actually, I have a documentary about my life, life of an outlaw. We never really, we never really have a chance to put it out like the way we want to, but we work on to release it soon, inshallah. You know what I mean? Mike Epps is an executive producer. Uh, we got video footage of Pop, Outlaws, uh, Freeway, Loon, and um, we trying to release it, inshallah, soon. Inshallah. Saudi Arabia helped Palestine more than any other country. That's the problem. Most of y'all don't know. If you go to the Saudi embassy website, do your research, you will see that the so actually the Saudi government paid the, the salaries of the Palestinian government. You, you know what I mean? Um, Saudi Arabia sent millions, millions of dollars to the Palestinian people. But unfortunately, Saudi Arabia, don't, they don't promote that stuff. They don't let people know. You know what I mean? But it's all on the Internet. You can Google right now and see um, Saudi foreign aid to, to, um, to Palestine, and it's in the billions of dollars. You know what I mean? It's in the billions, alhamdulillah. Yeah, water and coffee, man, that's all I drink. I can't drink coffee without drinking water after. <laughs> I think one of the homies, one of the brothers about to come up here, inshallah. But you know, like Sheikh Saleh Fozan, he says, Saudi is not a perfect country. Nobody's saying it's a perfect country, but alhamdulillah, it stamped our shirk. It's the salaam it, alaikum. It's the land of Tawheed, you know what I mean? You ain't gonna see nobody worshiping nothing, um, nothing besides Allah in this country, especially openly, you know what I mean?